Hi guys, this is Superboo3 and today we're continuing our playthrough of Season 1 of The Walking Dead. Last time we uh, had the slightly traumatic experience, put, to put it lightly, um, where we had to chop off the guy's leg to try and get him out of the trap. Uh, we didn't really have any choice in the matter, unfortunately. Because if we did anything else, he would have... Um, been trapped there and god knows how many other people would have been killed I'm not sure what we can really do in this situation It's hard to make out who we're supposed to be friends with. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, the hell Who's are that? these? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What no, you I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Well, the first thing we have to do is feed the kids. Alright, Mark and Larry were staring at me, as the new guy, and Kenny, but Kenny's not going to care if we give food to the his kid. Is he going to be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway.
I think guy's passed out. He's, we can't talk to him. Um. We dug through those for food a long time ago. I saved Doug's life earlier. I don't think I need to give him food. What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. Does it work? It should. We'll have to wait and see. Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. I think we made the right choice keeping him rather than the woman. Because the woman, um... Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Let's just deal with the kids first. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank it was her dad's hat. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. I don't want anything from you. Fine. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? Yeah, he looks like he's eaten recently. Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. He'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Yeah, okay, so Clementine gets food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. Just the moment of her dad. Us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. Aww. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? It doesn't look good, Clementine. It doesn't look good. Oh, okay. I think that guy's probably going to die in a moment. There's probably no point in, um... 
You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's King of Hope's Hope. Mom can fix him. How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Isn't it a cat? Wonder. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. There's no real point arguing that. Okay, let's see what these guys are up to. I don't particularly want to talk to him. Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Yeah, Mark's going to be cold against nope. me if I don't Actually, help him out. Use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Giving Larry the axe is just dangerous to me and everyone else. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Not really a lot we can do about that. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Yeah, I did not have much choice in the matter. Not such an easy job, is it? Doug, I saved your life, dude. Chill. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Ah! Uh. 
guess it teaches me if you're not really concentrating there. I'm on the ground. Push it off. I don't want to hit you. Whoa. That is gross. Thanks. No problem. We got to watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! Not sure why this is all lagging suddenly. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Okay, I'm going to stop the episode there. Uh, as... It just saved us then, that seems to be the end of chapter 2 there, but it seems like there's something in the air or something that's infected everyone before they've died, which has turned them into zombies. This is really messed up. Anyway guys, um, thanks for watching, until next time, bye.